on the map. And I always thought, you know, that they didn't really travel too far in those days because uh, it was dangerous for people to travel in those times. There wasn't any law. You didn't have the high sheriff and all the deputies and the state police and all that cruising the streets. It was dangerous on them deserted roads because highwaymen would lay away caravans and stuff. And for one family, it traveled to be bad. So I figured Joseph and them probably got with a, a bunch of other people. But I always thought it was fairly close. But according to the map, it's somewhere between 80 and 100 miles away from Nazareth to Bethlehem. Just to think of that country, you don't think that country being as big as what it is. Israel is huge. That land that God gave Abraham is vast land, great land. And of course, a lot of other people have taken over those parts of it, but it still belongs to the Jews. God gave it to Abraham. He said for his seed forever, so it's heirs. I don't care if they want to fight over the East Bank, West Bank, North or South. They can fight over anything they want to, but it's still God's. Amen. And God gave it to Israel. And that's only going to be a very minute portion of the new earth. The new earth, I don't know if he's going to have states and counties and all that on it. I don't have no idea. God don't tell us much about heaven. He tells us more, way more about the millennial reign of Christ than he does about heaven. We don't know very much about heaven. Because he ain't revealed very much to us about heaven. A lot of times when we speak of heaven, we're actually we're talking about the kingdom age. And most people is that faith. Now, I don't like to. Uh, uh, I want to tell you how God chose to use an evil man. He does, you know. I've had people tell me 